Verb tenses. Verb tenses depend on when the action takes place. So, what are the verb tenses? There are three verb tenses past, present, and future tense. Past tense means it already happened. When I want to write a verb in the past tense, I add ed. But not all verbs follow that rule. She walked to the park. We added ed to the verb walk to show that it happened in the past. They danced to their favorite song. We added ed to the verb dance to show that it happened in the past. Again, not all action verbs like to follow the rules when we talk in the past. So that means not all verbs we can add ed to show that they are in the past. For example, we say, He slept for nine hours. For the verb sleep, I don't add ed like I do with other verbs. I change it completely and say slept. Another example is the verb eat. I say the girl ate her dinner, not eat it. Present tense means it is happening now. Depending on the subject in the sentence, I either add s or es or I just keep the verb as is. The cat scratches the chair. She writes in her journal. My sister cooks dinner. For all these examples, we added s or es to the verb because the subject in the sentence is singular. They look for clues. We dance together. For both verbs, we did not add s or es. We left them as is because the subjects in both sentences are plural. Future tense means will happen, and in that case, we add the word will before the verb. It will rain tomorrow. She will read the last chapter. We will eat the whole pizza pie. They will find the missing ring. For all these examples, it shows that it will happen in the future. So far, we learned that we have three verb tenses. Past tense means it already happened. The present tense means it is happening now. And the future tense means that it will happen. Thanks for watching.